Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. Well, on my way in here this morning, I found the perfectly shouldered bottle. Oh, that's gonna make a great solar igniter. The photons will come down through this round, go through about six inches of water and come out this round. And about a half inch away from that bottle will be the most intense focal point. All right, I am glad that the sun came back out. It's been five days of rain, so we'll go ahead and try out our wine bottle. I still don't have any dry tinder, so let's just use this t-shirt material for our tinder bundles. It'll work. The two coal extenders that I want to ignite today is some, some punk wood and some, these are oak catkins from last spring. I put some up and we had, we had mountains of them on the cars and on the driveway. You want to compact them as tightly as you can. And then just give it time to build up a good strong ember that's burnt in there good and deep. I see smoke coming off of it. I think it'll maintain itself. Now we'll do the same thing with the punk wood. And this punk wood is so light in color, it's gonna take a second or two for it to build up enough heat. big cloud in front of the sun. I guess we're going back to the catkins. Make sure you can see that. It just got dark out here with that cloud in front of the sun.
Try a little cut some hair for us, see if that'll bring your friends. See if the wind can bring it to flames. There's some flames right there. Good. Now that cloud is still in front of the sun. I'm gonna find a different tender because we're not. Um, we're not going through that again. Now that punk wood is very light, so it's reflecting most of that energy. But it'll heat up and get dark and start to absorb it and ignite the punk wood. Constant airflow will do it many times. When blowing your moist breath on it will not. There we go. Hi right, Joe. I'm gonna get a lot of years of use out of this perfectly shouldered bottle. Most wine bottles have that shape. So Appreciate you joining me on this one wheel. Catch you on the next one.